would like you to pray Lord speak to me in this evening I have come to at his feet it is your feet I have come to Lord the miracle in your hand that is available at your feet Lord let it be delivered to my hand Lord, let me receive healing by your word. Let me receive deliverance by your word. Let your name be glorified in my life. Please go ahead and pray. Lord, we have come to hear you, Lord. The miracles at your feet, the wonders at your feet, the blessings at your feet. May you make it available to each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Le pori le baba baba kasanta ri le borolea zineri le boru le mamara mari le mandeli kakasata ri le mamalia uji proli kusoto ri le bokronde ri le bo thank you father glory be to your name in Jesus name we pray amen Lord we thank you for what you have done. We appreciate you for this rain. We appreciate you, God. Glory be to your name, Lord. Despite the rain, you still gather your people. We believe that as many that cannot be here who have the privilege to be connected with our radio we, we believe that you are going to make your blessings available to them also. Glory be to your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, send your word to us this evening. Thank you, Lord, because you have done it. In Jesus' name, we pray. Please be seated. We are still on study seven. Ashiwa Lori Ekokeje. And the topic title is the the study title is the hearts and the world. Akoria ekona ni awo kan ati orona. Aha, we are learning Jesus from the parables. Yeah, we are now in a parable of the sowers. The parable of the sower. Jesus Christ Jesus Christ shown to us four different kinds of art. The first that was shown to us from Matthew chapter 13, verses 1 to 8, is the wayside heart. The second one is the stony heart. The third one is the Tony Art. And the fourth one is the Good Heart. We have learned the Wayside Heart. We've also learned on the Tony Art. Am I correct? Eh? Okay, today where are we studying? 
We are looking at the turning heart. Now turn your Bibles to Matthew 13. We are not going to read the whole passage again. But we are going to pick verses. Verse 7 and verse 22. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and shook them. Verse 22. He also that received seed among the tongues is he that heareth the word and the care of this word and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becometh unfruitful. May the Lord bless this word in our heart in Jesus name. We told you about the wayside art. That it is fertile. The only bond with this art is that it is hard. The solution to it is that the hard heart need to be broken. Now concerning the second heart, which is the stony heart, we told you that this one also is fertile. The only bot there is it has no depth. The hard heart does not have capacity to respond to the word of God. But the stony heart has power, ability to respond to the word of God. With excitement, he will respond to the word of God. The only problem with the excitement is that it does not last. Are you with me? Now, the third art, that is what we want to learn now. Don't forget that the aim for our learning is to check by yourself and for yourself the condition of your heart. And we are trusting that the Holy Spirit will show to you the reason why the word of God have not been able to prevail over your life. So we trust the Lord that you will not remain the same again. I believe your outline is with now let's go to the outline. The tony heart. This is a worldly heart. Please, don't be confused. These heart conditions are found among believers in Christ. You don't have this four kind of heart among unbelievers. Unbelievers have sinners' heart. A heart. That's that's one thing. That's one at the heart. But these four types of hearts 
are found among people who profess Jesus to be the Lord of their lives and their Savior. He refer a bear walk on many ye, only a little line. I want you want to walk there soon. You know, I at your look. That you can be a believer in Christ and you are carrying this worldly heart. And oh, she said, for go mafi or go to su bomi mu go mafi bomi we ko si ni ru okan ibayere yi do you follow us to this point so tell you what they be now it is fertile but possess it o je okan iledu sugbon o ti gba bode now when we say somebody is possessed baba ni pe eniyan ti gba bode o ti la lejo does not necessarily mean that you possess devil. When your heart is full of tongues, you are possessed. So such a heart will never allow the word of God to prevail the power of the word of God can never be known by such who carry that kind of a heart it is not conducive at all for the world it gives no room for the world to survive let alone to thrive it is possessed not with demons but with the cares of this world, the seedfulness of earthly riches, and the loss of material things. O ti gba bode, ki in se ti anwen e mi esu, subo o konfon, i fe kou fe a ye, e tan anwen o ro a ye, a ti i fe kou fe anwen o mere mere a ye. When you are always thinking of what am I going to eat? What is the cloth that I'm going to wear? What? I don't have a shoe. That is the concern of your heart. You are worldly. Your heart is a tiny heart. So, ba je pe e ro ngba iso oru re ati awe ati iso osan re ni pe lori in ti ma je ohun ti ma mu ti ma wo okan re je okan legun o kun fun e o mere mere aye when the philosophy of your heart is that when I don't have money I am useless you are carrying a tiny heart so ba je pe iwo wa ninu o e gbe awon ti won ma n powo pe owo o si eniyan o sun won o ni okan legun when you are concerned about you that i am now 57 years old i am yet to have a land of my own i am yet to build a house i am yet to have my car when will i make it in life and because of that you are traveling from one mountain to the other suddenly one prophet has to another in order to look for a breakthrough People that carry worldly heart, they are the one that looks for breakthrough at all cost. Nimba to Jerry Pay, what you were yet pay? Omadu met Adila, daughter Nimi, and Mio City, Colle, a ye and King Nialu Yoka Camio Tini, Lata, O one power for phone, O one power do do, O one bidi bidi, O one bidi bidi, O one a lot of rock is consistent, O one town will only law, O can let go lonely. So, your that kind of a heart will never allow the word of God to survive. Whenever you are troubled with the, your age, and I mean your chronological age, and say, oh, eh? next year I'm going to be 40, and I have not achieved anything in life. What kind of a life I do I carry here? That shows that your heart is worldly. So, by the way, it was the only man you are learning. So, man, we pay. Ah, we must be from our domeji. Our domeji, the the logo. Ah, we must in that ballo. Me or city, kole. Me or city, rale. Kini mo ti e kala ye mi wa jamagan. Aye mi or ti e ni tuma. Iru pe okan elegun lo ni. Oh, si le ba orolon la ye lati seso. Now, 
We talk about loss of materials. And so on if I won't fair if I won't yeah. When your concern is about your dressing. To ba je wi pe gbogbo ero n pe ni pe kin je ni ti won to ni ti wo ta na aha that you always want to have different kind of dresses to je wi pe ile pa ni pe gbogbo oru fe aso to ba ti lorun brother yen pe mo gboda ra aru e o ma fere o ma fe oruko jesu claim i claim that clothes in jesus name mo gba aso yen oruko jesu so your heart is tony heart o kan re Thank you. You have two pair of shoes, one pair of sandal, and uh, you have one palm sandal too, and you are still looking palm slippers, and you are still praying that God but there is one shoe I saw in the leg of the Baba, the father of the groom. That is the next one that I'm going to buy now. You are carrying a tony heart. If what you are doing, only run, run, but I be a leg by be made yellow, nile, but in a shoe. Oh, she are no longer shiri shi. So come on, walk on, see big boy. I walk on. Oh, walk here, see, see, baba, I walk here, walk. But you are too bad, you are too bad. But I too bad, you are too bad. Oda, oh, I, oh, I saw the prayer point. Oh, you are too bad, you are too bad, you are too bad. Okay, let go, loni. Oh, it is the set of my interpreter that impress you. He said, Oh, Lord. This kind of shirt that brother Tosi wear. Okay. God, you must give me my own too. Oh wow, oh wow, we quit. And you know, I shall see a corner before you walk. Thought that you call a ye like so call a mono. You pay all women now. Oh, I saw the abbey. I do up. I hear the Siwari by along. Kilo day to a far from Lasso, two of Melasso, or can let go on Loni. Now, please, we are not playing. We are doing serious matters. Ah, official, where what? You need to know that many things goes on in our mind when we claim to be following Jesus. Oh, yeah, come We man law, the man but about Jesus. A brother bought a Corolla in those days when Corolla, total Corolla was three point uh, three million naira. New, new, Tiaroba. Ara koni kara to yeta korola ni ba yen ni ba tuwa si intani mi yoli meta lo nlera to twenty o. He he bought it. Then he tuwa anja 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 ora la re ba. He was a lecturer in one of the private university in Nigeria. Eh, ake koni ni le kogi gani ole Nigeria. And you know we were going for a meeting. Don't let me mention the name. Eh, ma jenda ruko ni na anwa lo si bi ekpade kan. It's a popular meeting. It's a minister's meeting. Ekpade awa you know she alone. So we now ran to a filling station to buy fuel. You know why we were to buy fuel? The, the fuel attender, the petrol attender, was filling the car with fuel. Now, another car came into the uh, petrol station. That is superior to his own Corolla that he just bought three months ago. You know, he put off his eye from the petrol that they were filling his car and he was guessing at that car. Oh, what do you want to do with the petrol that they were filling his car? Oh, what do you want to do such that the person at the time says, Sir, give us the money now. And they will pay and in the power we pay that we have already filled your tank. Give us the money. At it, I put on. He said, Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. That, that was know. when he removed his eye. And the next thing he says is that I'm going to buy that car. Now, 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 after you have gotten something and you are still looking for another one. Nipa to ti ni kan to la on ti do long o tu waran juma in kamena. That is the lost of material things. E yi ni fe ku fe a wo mere mere a ye. You need to know some people they buy many cars. They are fleet of cars and they put air con some of them in the air condition in their garage and just just like that and with they have many of them that they may not even use in the next two years and what can you get one more to david 
And that and these are believers. Many of them are believers in Christ. And when there is a prophetic release that the Lord is going to lift you up, they are the first to rise up in the meeting to say, I catch them. Because of the power of God, what are we dealing with? Pony heart. A heart that is full of the worldly things, deceitfulness of earthly riches, and the loss of material things. This shook the world in the heart and make him unfruitful. So, when we are talking about turning out, you will not, don't think that we are talking that when you open that heart, you will see different kind of tongues. No, no, no. What we find that heart is the care of this world. When you wake up in the morning and your concern is what will I eat? How will I make it? Hmm. Excuse me, what is today's date? Today is 31. 2020 have gone. Ah, August. August. August, August 31st. <laughs> now, wow. When will the Son of Man make it a life? That's a worldly heart. Please check your heart. If that is the nature of your heart, you have to attend to it very urgently. And pay attention to divine instruction. Now let's continue. He is a believer but wants to be utterly relevant. You want to be utterly relevant. You want to appear among politicians and also say that I am there. You want to appear among businessmen and women and also want to ride on the horse of pride. You want to appear That's a worldly heart. You desire, desire to be relevant heartly. He desires to have money and earthly things. And by that, he is a slave to money, and his heart is full of tongues. On Pongbe, Latin Neo, at your own, at your own, why ye, Nitorie, ye, O D, a row, wo, at a pay, or can a pumphon, a gong, as a tony heart. O can a legone, ye. It is God that makes one rich. O Lord, on in son in the Lord. You can't struggle and have money. Ah, If you struggle and have money, you will have gotten it in a dishonest manner. That's the Those, please listen. God blesses. God gives money. Let me disabuse the mindset of some people that said that you cannot have money and be a Christian. It is a lie of the devil. Money belongs to God. 
Owo deti olorun. God says, liver and gold are mine. Oni olu olorun wi pe wura ti fadaka temi ni. Did not me hit 17 say, I am the God that give you power to be wealthy. David said, Riches, greatness, honor, and wealth come from thee. So God gives money. Oh, Proverbs says it is the blessing of God that makes rich and that without sorrow. Oh, Proverbs says it is So what we are telling you in essence is this. That God can bless you. But if you are bent to have money at all costs, and by all means, if you are bent to have money at all costs, and by all means, if you are bent to have money at all costs, and by all means, if you are bent to have those who sing that song, they ah. are worldly Christians. I want to God me. We need to tell you what God does not ordain for you, you cannot get. They truth of the matter is that not all of us shall be rich. But certain men have been ordained to be rich. Not all of us will be leaders. Certain men have been ordained from heaven to be leaders. So, as Christians, we must learn contentment with godliness. So you don't need to become a slave of money in order to become a, a owner of money. No. If God is intending to give you money, He will do that without stress. And one will say without stress does not mean that you have to sleep in your house and money will flow to your hand. No. You have to walk. You have to walk diligently. And you have to walk wisely. You have to walk with under the guidance and the supervision. Of the Holy Spirit. Walk with higher saints. And when I'm talking of higher saints, I'm, I'm talking of supernatural saints in Christ. When Holy Spirit is the coach of your business. When the Holy Spirit is your coach in a political arena, when the Holy Spirit is your coach in your field of endeavor, you are bound to be great. You are bound to be rich. And that without stress. But bet if you are to be a slave of money because you want to have money, your heart will be full of thorns. This art wastes divine resources and it is at the risk of God's rejection and curse. 
ati pe o wa ninu ewu ikosile egun lati odo olorun turn your bibles to hebrews chapter 6 si bibeli re si we be ro ri kefa if your heart is like this ti o kan re ba ri bayi and you neglect it ti o si bikita and after this study again ati leyin eko yi you refuse to do the needful bi o ba ku na lati se yi to to your life is standing at the risk of receiving god's curse aye re o duro lati gba egun olorun are you in hebrew chapter 6 ijo wa nu we be ori kefa verse 8 e se ikejo but that which beare tongues and prayers is rejected and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be bond. Shuban, bi oba wu egon, ati igi kigi, ko wulo, ko si ni pe ti olonu yo fi fi igi. Tolonu yo fi fi egon, ni kenyi, inan yo si danosun. When a life become a cause, is doom eternally. Bi aye kan ba ti di aye ti afi gegon o ti shik bi aye raye. I don't mean the cause of men. Mi o so anwe e gwen ni yon. This scripture is not talking about the cause of human being. El oralon yon so anek pa e gwen ni yon. God himself is the one that we cause such a heart that breeds thorn. Oralon ti kalara re. Only your fee, your work, your work, your fee, re. And once that heart is cursed, definitely it goes to eternal hell. See, your work, and bear, but it is your can, your fee, re, or that you, or loss, you know, a panayer, a place of eternal regret. It be your timaka, bama. Let's move on. Let's come back to the outline. If this is the picture of your own heart, See? it is dangerous state, but not a hopeless case. We have told you the danger there. Your life will attract divine curse but it is not a hopeless situation solomon's heart was like this and lured him to do stupid things in israel <laughs> we need to let you see you can be a beloved of god and carry this kind of a heart Ben, o le she she ko je enyi loju Olorun ayan fi Olorun ko si nuro kan bayi Solomon was a beloved of God eh ayan fi Olorun ni Solomon je but his heart was a tony heart sugbon okan re je okan legun he was rich o ni oro he was really wealthy o je olo o je oloro popo but he did stupid things you know things that can never be traced in the lineage of David. You know David was of Jesse. Jesse was of Obed. David Obed. You remain Obed that was born by Boaz. Obed it Boaz be. These were men who never worship idol in their life. I want you to fair burning at you want to see all the shari la ye one. Solomon was not only an idol worshipper, he built several shrines. In, not in other towns, in Jerusalem, the city of David. Kokin Shekwe, Solomon is there anything see all the shani can. O to walk all the shiri shile all the sha. That's why you have to attend to your heart. If God has ordained you to be great, you shall be great. 
But what about the condition of your heart now? So that you will not also do stupid things when you get to the place of power. There is a solution under God. You need to be taught that the things of this world are temporary. The things of this world, they are ephemeral. They are not eternal things. They are modern. Come to Mark chapter 8. Let's see how Jesus Christ estimates the things of the world. And in comparison with the soul of a man. So Jesus here, let us see the greatness of the soul beyond the things of life. Mark 8, 36 and 37. So what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world? And lose his own soul. Nitori and Fanikilo Jeffu Enya, Kyo Jere Bobo Duki Aye, Kyo Sik Badano Emere. Jesus is saying, Jesus, we pray if it is possible. For somebody to gain the whole world. Lati Jere Bobo Duki Aye, which I believe it is not possible. Ele it must be little pray for Sheshe. Even if it is possible. Jesus said. What will that man. If he now lose his soul. So what will he use in exchange for his soul. The things that you are running after. I want to only. Even before your death, they become obsolete. What do do If you cast your mind back to things that we value sometimes ago, be There is a house in Ibadan. In those days, it is that house was the best in Ibadan. And, and another day came from Yoruba, from, from, from Ibadan land, around that house. That if you are planning to build the house of Adebisi, is it Adebisi? Adebisi. That you are not ready to build a house in your house. Uh -huh. That you better build your own. Now, you know when I first came into Badan and I used to hear that. So I said I want to know that at house. I think it's at Idi Kabi. Oh, I need Idi Kanan. Idi Kanan. I know. It's only a stupid man now. That want to build the house and now take his architect there. I said, This is the house I want you to design. For. So that design then was the best. And everybody they were running to build that kind of a house. So what are we trying to say? If your heart is full of pursuing modern things of life, there are temporary things. They can last. Let's continue. Solomon learned this in a hard way. In his backsliding state to see the vanity of these cares of life and the emptiness of the mundane things. 
Solomon ni kwa eko yi ni ona to le ninu ipo ipada seyin re ni o ti ri ni o ti ri wipe asan ni awon kan aye yi ati ofo ni gbogbo nkan nkan je oh god solomon really enjoy life solomon ni mama gbadun aye o he really enjoy life o gbadun aye o you know after he learned from experience that there is nothing in this world that what the gaze of the soul of a man that what what should drive your passion to pursue he came when he was writing Ecclesiastes he was writing you no know, that was when he when he returned when he was in his back his, his experience in while he was a backslider that was ecclesiastes so he learned that life is nothing when you are full of those things and you are empty of god Aye yo ni tumo bi o ba ni awon won won yen ti o si ni olorun Please stop troubling yourself about the things of this world Jo de kun ati ma yora re lenun nipa won aye yi It is good for you to allow the truth of the scriptures to enlighten your spirit to know that what constitute tongues in your heart does not want it at all. Oh, that of one Latin bow to toy with me, my lie. Latin fee, my left one, me and a Latin more you pay. Oh, so dear, going walk on a cool or ara. Now let's come to our level. Yo, Yakawa, see, quick will do our Don't don't let us discuss wet. Am I Yaka sorrow or a bye? It's good not to talk. To criticize people that are worthy when you don't touch, when you have not touched wet. Ko dara ki ama ase ayonu si awon to loro. Nigba ti wo gan o ti fo wo ba oro. It is easier to criticize others. Oh man do lati si ayonu si awon mi I hate that man. Yo fe na kun ye. Let his money perish with him. Eh go wo re ko se gbe pelu e. God will forgive you. It is envy that is worrying you. You are you are you are envious. And envy is of the flesh, not from the spirit. When you ought to say, Oh, glory be to God for this man. Thank God that God bless him. I am happy for him. And Lord, I pray that you will keep him there. That's what some you're supposed to do. If there is anything you dislike in him, you don't need to criticize him. You just need to say, Lord, if I receive mercy and you bring me to this kind of position, you will help my heart that I will do better. That's the correct approach. Now, you and I, what do you worry about? What is your worry? That thing that worries you is the tongue that will not allow the word of God to survive in your heart. Oh, ti dro gege bi egun ti o ni je ki oro Olorun o ye ninu okan. Even if you are worrying about the promise of God to come to fulfillment. To ba ti e je pe eh aniyan ti won se ni lori pe ileri Olorun lati wa si mu se. Let me announce to you your heart is worldly. Je ki so fun okan re ko fun afia ye. 
People that worries have no capacity for faith. I want to ban Shalinya. I want your I want let no one ne pa fun it bagbo. Have you chosen your wedding date? Enjoy to wa do jo gbe awo sona. And because of that, you could not sleep again. Ni tori yin o wa le suma. Your heart is a thorny heart. O kan re je, o kan elegun. Please attend to it now. Jowo da si moju to bayi. Let's move to the fourth. Ah uh, heart condition and this is the best of all the good heart Matthew chapter 13 verses 8 and 23 but all that fell into good ground and brought forth fruit some an hundred fold some sixty fold some thirty fold Subban, I want to put me on bossy or let it. Once he so so, I want me on so or go or go go on. I want me on so or got or got a. I want me on so or go on. Best twenty three. Essay cat a little boom. Bet he that received seed into the ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit. And bring it forth some an hundred fold, some sixty, and some thirty. Shuban, a yiti, I'm sorry, letter in a yito bar or no. Sor or no, ye, so she was so, so, Nick Bamena, or Goron, Nick Bamena, or Gotta, Nick Bamena, or Ban. Now let's come back to our outline. Jacob, I'll soon we are called. This is the understanding art that is the good soil, fertile. And prepared. A ye yaw can't yo mo ye or can ille do o dara o si shetan. It is receptive, rapid in growth, and explosive in fruitfulness. O fa ye ba o mui da basoke wa ati e soni yanturu. It is not beaten and trodden by the feet of men, non stony. Non tony but well broken up hand tilled. Ko fa ye ba itemale se niya. Ko le bio kuta ko lego shuban ati shuban ati for asiti roma. This is the correct art we must all possess. E ye jo kanti o dara ti go bo wa bodone. He is a honest acted era who is made so by the spirit and the grace of God. Oje olugbo to ni otito kan ti si se nipa emi ati ori ofi olorun. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Mo gbadura fun ni oruko Jesu Christ. That this kind of heart. Ipe ru fi okan bayi. Baba we give you in mercy. Olorun yo fi fun o ninu anu. Is a good heart. And it comes from God that is good. So when your heart is bad, it's not from God. If it is not good, then it is ungodly. If it is good, then it is from God. Only God gives good heart. No pastor can give it to you. There is no prophet that can give it to you. May I announce to you, no impartation, laying of hands can bring healing. No man of God will lay hands on you and your heart will be good. If they have deceived you in your church that they said this pastor of the nation you must go for it because God is going to give you a new heart. Once we put our oil on you, they have deceived you. There is no anointing that gives good heart. 
ko si ifa mi ororo yan ti ma mo kan titun wa are you with me jo so wa ni bi the one that Saul had that God, that God through anointing e did iti, not last. E iti solo, ni, ni pasepa, onyako, God did it. It's only God that gives good heart. It's It is receptive. Oh dear, Yeah. There is no word, no matter how hard good that we collect it. There will receive that word. And once the word landed in his heart, it grows rapidly. And when it comes to fruitfulness, it is explosive. Lord, I plead with you again, O oh Lord. May you grant all my hearers this kind of a good heart in the name of Jesus. If there is a miracle you need from God, this is the mother of all miracles. May I announce to you, when your heart is not good, you can never be prosperous in life. If your heart is not good, you can remain in the church for donkey years. But your life will not tantamount to any blessing whatsoever. People whose life bless God's kingdom. People whose life advance the purpose of God. Those were the ones and those are the ones that God had blessed with good heart. Because this heart is made by the Spirit of God and by the grace of God. May the Lord Almighty bring an outpouring of His grace upon your heart, life in the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Ghost come upon you and give you a good heart in the name of Jesus. This heart is with a spiritual understanding, with spiritual experience, suffer and releases and releases whatever he hears and grow to produce abundant abiding fruits. I pray God will give you understanding. It is a heart with spiritual understanding. A hard spiritual experience. That heart is suffering. Which haruma of God. Enjoy the word of God. You want to listen to the word of God and listen over and over again. When a man have good heart, you love the servant of God that preaches the truth. You always want to hear him. You always want to be around him. You always want to do him good. You always want to pray for this man. Because he knows that correct word doesn't come from wicked heart. No man of God will be a blessing to you through the word of God if he does not have Good heart. Jesus says, Out of the abundance of the things in the earth, 
the mouth speaks. A bad heart will bring out corrupt words. A good heart will be loaded with good words from heaven. The Lord God will show you this message. If you have been coming with wayside hearts, if you have been coming with stony hearts, if you have been coming with stony hearts, I plead on your behalf that today will be the last day that you carry such a heart to God in the name of Jesus. You will just see that your heart is good. That will be the experience of your life. And from here you will be giving glory to God. Because it is God alone that can do it. Are you here? The variation in the degree of fruitfulness is not in quality for it is the same but of quantity which depends on the level of growth bi awon eso ti njade ni oniko jipo ki nse ti didara nitori pe okan na ni gbogbo re ni didara sugbon bi o ti se npo to yi oni fi se pelu idagba soke okan now please look up now, when you look at the verse 23 of Matthew 13, you have, you have three levels of degree of fruitfulness. We have this same heart, good heart. In this person, he bring forth hundredfold. In another person, it brings forth fruit of sixty. And some, it brings thirty. Now listen. Now, the degrees of this thing does not depend on the uh, on the variation in qualities. No. Once the heart is good, it's good. Now, why we have variation in degrees of fruitfulness? Is growth. Growth, level of growth. Now, when you look at the soldiers of uh, David, you know, according to Chronicles, the, the least of them killed 1,000. And we have some that killed 10,000. Then we have special masha among them. That by themselves they can singularly kill thirty thousand. People who can fight, I want to one climbing mountains. That the enemies will be coming from the And they will be coming from Why they were climbing and they were climbing. We have this special master that could, could fight in a in a in a in a in a slippery hill. Ani awa ki kanju jagun jagun ti wan leja bi wan ti yolo that the hill is slippery. Ipe bi o gori o kenyan ti yoto. Yet they are from the mountain coming down to fight those who are advancing to the fight. And they will kill thousands. Wan si pa ekbe now. Same life in David. Same quality of life in David. Which was transmitted to this is the side. 
because of their level of growth in power uh-huh. And their level of growth in fighting. In spiritual warfare. Now you need to know that the army of David were not men who were trained in the academy of a uh, military academy. David never attended any military academy. God taught him to fight. So, this skill was divine. The boldness was divine. His hands were supernatural. There is no earthly soldier that can break a bow with your finger. You know, do you know bow? Bow is beyond your ham span. Yet, David said, God taught my fingers to break a bow of steel. So, same life in David. In orders to. Now, but in their degrees of performance. In their degrees of advancing in battle. It depends on their growth. In a brother that have a good heart, who is matured under God, matured in grace, and mature in power, he can bring hundred to Christ. This has nothing to do with age. This is the problem we have in the church. You think that because some people have spent 50 years and they celebrate 50 years, and 50 years anniversary in the ministry, you think they have the quality of life to bring any fruit of God. David, by his life, when he was a teenager, proved that philosophy that experience is an expired sense. And David, when we talk about spiritual things, it is about the good heart. Oh, when God was introducing David to Samuel, he said, I have seen a man after my own heart. So this heart is a godly heart. That is the kind of the heart that God has. Only God gives good good heart. Please, you learn to that point. Eh? Some believers have grown to a greater maturity than others. Some are but little children. Some are young men. And some are fathers. Fathers. Yeah. So variation in degree of fruitfulness, the fathers bring hundredfold fruits. Young men bring sixty-four. Little children will bring thirty-four. Beloved. We are advertising to you that if your heart will stop feeling the word of God and truncating the power of the word of God, you need to have a good heart. Let's finish it. This kind of heart is not man made. It is a supernatural thing which comes as a miraculous experience by divine mercy. Mm. It is divinely prepared as the Lord opens the heart 
to the truth of the gospel presented in the power of the Holy Spirit. You remember Lydia in Acts chapter 16 verse 14. A seller of purple of the city of Tyra. He worshipped God and had the apostle Paul preaching the gospel. But there was a comment. There is a comment there. The Lord opened her heart. It is the heart. When God has prepared her heart, he opens it. Same was the experience of the believers in Thessalonica. The Thessalonians were blessed with good hearts. The word of God came to them in power. It was just a scriptures, it was just a discussion in three weeks, three days. And they had this life that was so great and their fruitfulness was so explosive such that Paul did not need to preach around their towns again. However, one still has the responsibility to permit the inner working of the Holy Spirit through the word to ensure conversion. It is your responsibility to bring forth the fruit of repentance and to get this good art with all diligence. Let's go to Matthew chapter 3. Because if you have, you have told you now that it is God that give this, that does not mean that you do not have your own responsibility. God gives this art. And many of us have been given this art, but we fail to to. To, 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 to do our own responsibility. Matthew 3, 8 says, Bring forth, therefore, fruits, meet for repentance. You are to bring forth the fruit of repentance. The the, the Thessalonian believers. God bless them. With, God, he bless them with good heart. But they themselves turn away from idols. They turned to God. And they started to live their life according to the truth of the gospel. That is our responsibility. You will not only bring forth repentance, you are to guard that heart. Proverbs 23 say, guard your heart with all diligence. You know, if God has blessed you good heart, you need to guard it jealous. You cannot afford to be careless. If you are careless, the that can become hard. Can become stony. Can become turning. Solomon was not. When he started his kingdom, he didn't start with a tiny heart. God gave him good heart. That was why when he was praying, when God visited him, he didn't ask for mundane things. He didn't ask for the enemies of the for the lives of his enemies. He only asked for wisdom. 
He did not ask for riches. It was God that gave it to gave other things to him. So it is possible that God give you good heart. If you don't guard it, how do we guard our heart? You have to be mindful of the who you listen to. Somebody will speak to you and you'll be depressed. Some people will speak to you, they make you to become a rebel. You have to be watchful. What do you watch? The windows to our heart are our eyes and our ears. So you have to guard this good heart. I know many of us, God has given us good hearts. That many of us have been careless with our hearts. That's why your heart now is wayside. You cannot begin Christian life with wayside. Nobody is become born again with wayside. When we got born again, God give us a new, brand new, good heart. But all along, when we begin to poke nose to the affairs of men, when we are meddling on matters that does not concern us, when we are peeping to matters that is none of our. When you are listening, we are listening to stupid people, people that have been demonized. Some people call themselves fathers, but they have disconnected from heaven. When you when you keep company with rejected men like Saul. When you you keep company with fools, you will be wasted. Finally, nobody is born with a good heart. All of us were born with a deformed, depraved, and desperately wicked heart. None of us have what it takes to change the batter to be good. Proverbs 27 22 say, Even if you put a fool in a mortar and you are me, his foolishness will not live. We have some people they carry foolish art. You, do, you don't labor on fools. I've been praying that God will not let me labor again over fools. I've labored with fools for years. I've lived with fools for years. One day God came to me, just stop paying fees of the fools. Stop paying their fees. I have, I have given my money to fools. I have cutted away my thousands of them. And you know, fools are rebels. They grow to become rebellious. You may not understand what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, I was telling those CDT3 that we set aside, and then it cost us two. And I say, if I told them, I say it cost us over two million naira to feed you 36 weekend that you have attended CDT. So if everybody says, I want to leave Okola, you don't leave me. If you leave me, you allow me to have my money for myself. When you are with me, what is the blessedness of your life? That's the truth. 
So we are not we are not doing ministry because of what we want to eat. We rather sacrifice our life. Ah wa o si se ran se latari ohun ta o ti bonu dipo be an fi aye wa wewu. We are not looking for fame. Ah wa o kiki. By the grace of God we are dead to say no fame. Ni pa ori o fi Olorun ati di oku si o kiki. Jeremiah 13:20 say an Ethiopian cannot change his skin. Eh we Jeremiah wi pe a leopard cannot change the spot on his body. Ah, I'm a devil. Oh, lay your I want to go. Lay your water. Father, the heart of man is deceitful and desperately wicked. All along, we broke any yako for a thousand for a die. Fool, think foolishly. They talk foolishly. They act foolishly. I know when they talk, they are foolish talk. They think that they are somebody. You know, fools, they are not, they, there is no difference between a fool and a madman. Will you repent now and resort to the Savior to do this work in your life? Rise to your feet, let us pray. God, show me mercy. Give me a good heart. If God had given you before, but you were careless about it, so that your heart now is no longer good, his heart stolen and torn. Lord, Lord, mercy again. 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 Are you praying? Please pray. Pray. I cannot help you. The only one that can help you is the one I ask you to call Lord. Lord, show me mercy. Show me mercy. Olua fa anu for me. Show me mercy. Olua fa anu for me. Show me mercy. Olua fi anu for me. Show me mercy, Lord. Olua fi anu for me. Puri le baka santa ria. Bara bara baka santa. Oh, glory be to your name, Lord. Oh, glory for the Lord, Baba. In Jesus' name we pray. Ni oru kaje suni agbadura.